Yeah. <laughs> now, you're beautiful. We now move into the yes, beauty the be segment. Do you have any Let's beauty tips? Yes. Well, yes, yes, I do. I have several secrets. Yes, okay. Let's see. Well, the first thing is I use a product called It Works. And it, there are these body wraps if you want to lose a couple of inches really? around the midriff. But also they have these uh, uh, face masks. It's paper and it just really lifts up your face. It's yeah. maybe not like a, you know, surgery, but it's, it's pretty nice. It just really does this nice yeah. firming thing. Neither one of you actually need it. But, um, but... It's really great, and they also make it works. Makes uh, like a green product called Greens on the Go, which uh, adds alkaline to your system because we have too much acid. Yeah. You know, we eat things that are too much, too much, too much acid. So I do that. Uh, I've been drinking a tea called Cali Tea, C A L L I. It's from a company called Sunrider, and I've been doing that for I've been doing that since 1984, and I take. Bikram yoga. I take yoga in a hundred and five degree room, really? and boy, yoga. that it's more than hot. It's scalding hot. <laughs> it's it's Bikram, B I K R A M, and that's its own, believe it or not, copywritten yoga. It's twenty six positions, and you can't do it unless you can't do those twenty six positions in that order unless you are a Bikram studio. And it's a 105 degree room, and you sweat profusely. How long have you been doing this? How long? Uh, be two years in July, and it is very intense. Yeah, it's very intense. It does a lot of, a lot of really interesting things. Yeah. Now, it, you have you always been lean, or have? Uh, well, did I you ever have a weight were, issue? Yeah, I did. Because I had, you know, one of the things that was very odd. I knew that I wasn't going to have much of a career as a dancer at a certain point because I was tiny and I felt unless I was an extraordinary dancer, um, I wasn't going to be able to play an adult dancer. So, and I wasn't really an extraordinary dancer. So, you know, the universe has a way of doing some strange things. I went, my thyroid went on the blink and I went from 89 dancer pounds to 135 pounds at 18 years old because my thyroid stopped working for a year and they couldn't seem to diagnose it and I I could so I couldn't dance so I I had to do like figure out other things to do I was in college that it was my one and only year of college and then they diagnosed this thyroid and I lost all that weight I, I must have lost the weight in like two weeks because I kind of gained it in two weeks I literally, my thyroid just like went dead on me. And, um, and to this day, I still take thyroid medication, but I've taken less and less of it because of the other supplements that I do. Um, but, um, and what about the supplements? What do you, what do you take? Well, I, 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 green tea is essential. People have to drink green tea. They have to drink a lot of green tea. It's, it's, it controls your weight. A lot of people don't realize this. So I not only drink the Cali green tea, but I drink, um, I, I take capsules of, of, from another company, from New Skin, uh, a, a product called To Green, T-E-G-R-E-E-N, I think, To Green. So I, it's like the, I think I have the equivalent of about 30 cups of green tea a day. The equivalent because because of the capsules. Yeah, I mean this is because okay. of the capsules. Yeah, okay. Capsules like have seven in there, okay. and then the greens to go from the company it it called it works, and that's the name of the company called it works. And you have to be pretty ballsy to have a company called it works if it doesn't work. So it must work because you yeah. never call it it works. Um, anyway, um, that's the equivalent of like seven servings of fruits and vegetables because we don't eat good enough you know we, we so the first thing is to really you have to change your eating habits I always had good eating habits but when you have a thyroid issue it doesn't matter if you eat nothing you still gain gain weight you just gain weight period you just gain weight and it's really not fun because I was doing well, the last thing I ever did for Michael Bennett was the Millican industrial show and we had these clothes that had um, uh, Velcro, 
And, you know, when you start putting on weight, which is what was happening to me, I went from like, the whole time I was doing the Milliken show, I went from 89 pounds to 92 pounds to not, the scale was just like going up. So by the time I finished that run, I was up to like about 96 pounds. So the Velcro was not sticking as well as, it was. and I was very light, but still, I, you know, on a little frame like me, if you gain like seven, eight pounds, that's a lot. And then when I got past 100, I went to the doctor and he said, oh, you know, you're an actress and you're probably neurotic about your weight and everything like that. You know, call me if you get over 105. Well, two days later, I was over 105. I mean, it was my, my system had just run, it was crazy. It was just going crazy. And, t you know, health care back then was really horrible. It was like when a girl, uh, it was like I wasn't taken seriously at all. I had to walk out of a couple of endocrinologists' office because they were condescending to me and they didn't really realize the value of, I was a professional already and I couldn't afford to be putting on 30 pounds of weight. Well, who can? Especially when you're not eating. Yeah. It's one thing if you're eating, but if you're not eating, you, you know, you're eating like a couple of egg whites and you're eating like an apple and you're eating, eating and you're, you're gaining weight. And I'm wow. Eating. So you're gaining, you're gaining weight because you're eating. No. You're gaining weight because you have no iodine in your system. Your thyroid is just like, you're not metabolizing. You have no metabolism at that point. It's sluggish, it's slow. And right before that happened, I couldn't keep weight on. I should have known something was going on because I was like, you know, I was like, 16 years old and I was 85 pounds, which was a little bit thin. <laughs> I kind of liked it, you know, because in my family you couldn't be, you know, you couldn't be thin enough, you know, because it was so funny. My mother had all these modeling, mag you know, all these Vogue and everything. She used to work for a photographer uh, who was a high fashion photographer, Alessio de Paola, and his models were like six foot two and they weighed like 98 pounds. So it was kind of freakish, but we kind of like idolized these strange models from Europe. There was one called Katinka Blika, and she must have been six foot four. And she was stunning. She was absolutely gorgeous, but it was like, you know, bone thin and everything. So it was a little, I'm not saying <laughs> my household was completely <laughs> normal, but it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So I vowed that whatever was going to be in my control would be in my control. So I've always tried to take control of my eating and, uh, you know, control what you can control and what you can't. Like I went in for an audition yesterday and I gave a great audition. I can't control what they think of me. All I can do is do a great job. I don't think they're going to hire me and I can't control that. Right. But you can control what yeah, I can control mouth. what I wear, what I put in my mouth, what I sing for the audition, how I present myself in life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, to many people food is way, way, way too important and eating too much food and not tasting the bite that's in their mouth. I, I, you know, I contend that Americans really, they're always on to the next bite before they've even chewed the bite that's in their mouth. They don't chew food. We don't chew food. We don't chew, we snort it. We really like snort food. We're not tasting it. So. Thank you.